guys on a day like today, you guys get to come in here and practice, but especially with it being a decent place on the weekend? Yeah, I mean, let's give props to the guys who put this together. I know Greg Peterson and, and Tony Spaltini, but the city was involved, so give them, give them love. The Blizzards, I believe, a soccer organization, uh, threw a lot of money at this. It's nice. It's a nice facility. It's something that we should have that we should have had 20 years ago, but uh, we got it now and we used it, and you're right. We needed it. We don't want to be out there. We practiced fast, and uh, we got better today, and those are all good things. You mentioned hey. coming out of the game Saturday feeling pretty healthy, or at least not as dang up as you might be. It looks like you got a lot of options out there. Yeah, a couple guys limited, um, just muscle pulls. Those are the toughest ones. The hard thing is, do you play them? And then ultimately, uh, they, they only give you that five, six, eight plays. I got to make sure we can get through the game with it. But I do think we'll have options. And some people will be disappointed. But we're hopeful that it's not just for one game. You know, We're hoping our season's more than just one game. Love no, no, and just to follow up on Danny's question from Saturday about um, uh, Carey, Mills, and uh, Logan, I mean, is, is it, would it be difficult to get them all in the lineup? Yeah, I, I know an option. There's an option out there. It's available. And, uh, you know, probably like you said, uh, it's, it's one of those things we just got to see where our return game's at, uh, see who else is available. But uh, Payton's done a great job all year. And, uh, you know, he's our rookie nominee. Um, Mills was the player of the week. And Kadeem's our MOP. So, uh, you know, you do want your best players playing. So it'd be nice to get all three on the field. About Malik Henry, he looked to be flying around there today. With yeah, I still, yeah, I think he's uh, getting closer. He's a full participant. You know, he's trending toward playing. If he can get through three days, he should be good to go. You always hear that it's the teams that get hot that can go on playoff runs. Do you feel like this team has just gotten hot? It's better than it needs to be. Yeah, the blizzard came in, and then uh, we're getting hot. I just think we momentum. I think we've done the right things. I think uh, we're up against a great opponent, and, and the West has been very difficult all year. Uh, we've competed well, though. Uh, all the games we've played, I felt like we've been in them. We could have won maybe a few more, maybe lost one or two others. I do feel like our team is confident, but we're not, we're not cocky because we know we're going up against a great BC Lions team, uh, and we know what it's going to take to try to win, and uh, it'll take everything, everybody on board, and hopefully we can get it done. What role do you think the run game will play, just considering this is kind of the last opportunity to play indoors? Well, I mean, a playoff football is controlling the line of scrimmage. It doesn't have to mean that you're running, though. You've got to control it. Both teams, whoever wins the trenches uh, and has better production, protecting your quarterback, running the ball, and getting after the quarterback will win the game. And uh, we've been doing that well all year, but also we, we, need to, we need some guys to step up and make some big plays for us.